Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will install the AWS command line on our computer. Once we install the AWS command line on our computer, Terraform will use the command line to create resources in our AWS environment. To install the command line on our computer, let's open a new tab and in Google, search for AWS command line. and press enter and under your search results make sure the url is aws.amazon.com and the title is aws command line interface select it then select getting started and on this page on the left side we are going to select installing the aws cli i'll select it and the current version for the CLI is version 2. I'll select version 2. And I am installing it on my Windows computer. I'll select Windows. And on this page, I'm going to scroll down. And before you install the CLI, make sure you meet the prerequisites. Then I'm going to scroll down. Under install or update, or step number one, which is to download it, we are just going to click on this link over here. So click this link and it is going to download the CLI EXE file on your computer. You can see it right here. I'm going to double click it and it is going to open this command line interface setup. I'll click next. I'm going to accept, click next. I'll click next and I'll select install. I'll give you some time to install the CLI on my computer. Once the CLI has been installed, select finish. The next thing we need to do is verify that the CLI is installed on our computer. To do that, I'm going to select the start menu and in the search box, I'm going to type CMD, then select the command prompt and it is going to open this command prompt for you. The next thing we need to do is run this command in our command prompt to verify that CLI is installed on our computer. So I'm going to copy it and come to your command prompt or you can type it in there. I'm going to paste it there and press enter. And there you go. If you get this result that shows you the AWS CLI Python, that means that the CLI is properly installed on your computer and you can see the results down here. So it is the same thing we are seeing here. Obviously the version is different, but you want to make sure you get an output like this. This is how you install the AWS command line on your computer. In the next lecture, we are going to create a profile for our Terraform user. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.